Ah, okay, we got lucky. I had to run back to the mailbox. <sighs> there we go. Okay. Just put me still. Oop. <sighs> so, we're May 31st. Just coming up on 1530. <sighs> it's lunch. Just ride that purple beam right so centered. Oh, it's a good thing for extended camera warranties. 50, Oof, we're through. Okay, so again, good old soul here. It's gonna line up just so right and give it a massive the brilliant Fukushima volcano chemtrailed forest fire ashed eclipse in the Arctic Circle. And that is June the 1st. 21.16 UTC time. Okay, I got the figures a little closer now. Yeah, that's correct. And that would put us on Wednesday morning. You guys just stay there! Okay, but it gets better. Um, we're also gonna get tail whipped with the dragon's tail. Uh, it's looking like anywhere from about 1900 ETC time to Maybe an hour or two after the eclipse. Oh, and things are so charged up. They're, I just can't even imagine what's possible if things line up perfect. So keep in mind the center point would be Dominion Island in uh, central Manitoba. That's all added to the eclipse. You now when you get a shutdown like that, it, that can easily induce a pull. A uh, field flip, pardon me, on the geomagnetic pole, not, not the Earth's uh, internal dynamic magnetic pole. The sun, she's just a beautiful. What the hell? No point in having a Fukushima soft, suffering a Fukushima soft kill and not enjoying the heavenly sights, sounds, and wonders. Yes, of course, if you alter your, your atmosphere, it changes the way sound propagates. Keep, keep that in mind, you guys, with your super fast jets and your missiles and all that, right? It's just a big game changer in your. Don't, 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 don't be relying on uh, standard tables because there ain't none for this. Not in your databases. Let's just back off a bit. That's enough to fill the screen. Yeah, it's at about 30, 44. On my $200 because it's discontinued. Sharp and viral super low lux. 45x dynamic zoom. Goes up to 800 digital zoom. Uh, 30 optical zoom. It has some um, 
Was it eight gigabytes of internal storage? Or maybe it was 20. More than enough for an hour shoot on high resolution. Because I do that on the... Uh, I put extra memory in there and I, I can get, I think, an hour and 55 minutes or more on the best resolution possible on 8 gigabyte uh, them little cards you stick in which uh, if you shop on sale you can get those for about uh, I think I paid like 38 bucks at Staples got a couple of them so I mean yeah, you have to it's hmm. a lot of storage so there you go, you got a Arctic Eclipse, uh, it won't be so good for Norway, but it still should be memorable, everybody grab your cams, email anyone you know up there, email them this. <clears throat> I'll, I'll put links, I'll put, they'll have to copy down, I'll put the links Google, uh, for space weather on the sun here. And, um, and for the uh, Solar Watchers one with all the uh, satellite tools, so, so you got your own tool chest. You, know, you have to do your research to actually understand useful information about what they're showing you quite likely, but go ahead and look and maybe you'll get interested. Can't, can't go into space if you don't know this basic shit. Can't even survive long enough with crop tech. If you don't know this shit to mitigate Carrington-like events, like in 1859, September the 1st, the Carrington flare. Wasn't that big. Quite likely as small as an X2, but the conditions were just so, and they didn't have a Fukushima radiological fallout filled atmosphere like we do you know what are we talking 1200 different isotopes I don't want to hear again about the short life stuff the xeon or the cesium iodine that they're using to fudge the fucking news and smooth over the soft kill don't want to hear that so anyhow with all that um Okay, I don't suspect there's a lot of... Yes, North Dakota. North Dakota, South Dakota. I know you guys still got plenty of nukes there. You better fucking have those all cold capped. I know they normally are because that's not an active center anymore. Um. Pinawa, Pinawa Research Station in Manitoba. Be thinking about what you're doing. I have no idea how active you guys are anymore. It's a, it's a research faculty, and it makes meds. Yeah, I don't, I, 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 <clears throat> and I'm not condoning most of what I see coming out of nuclear medicine. It's like, it'd make McCoy spit venom. <laughs> like the guys with the fucking head saw there. When Chekhov was having to uh, recharge his cell phone batteries or whatever so they could call for a tow truck for that Klingon stink bird. <laughs> uh, stench, stench bucket or whatever they were calling it there. So there you go. We're gonna quickly finish off my yard tour. Ah, oh, this is too slow. I'm gonna run a little faster. <sighs> you guys can sort out the digital signal if you want to see. Of course, we're on the Seacrest mine yards again. We'll just have a quick look at 
We have their nearby extremely long wavelength receiver and transmitter if an emergency warrants. Yeah, boy, these ones are really going good. I'm really getting skeptical about this grafting nonsense. There's got to be better ways to keep a species alive. Without fucking with it so unnaturally. I mean, yeah, it's good to be able to do these things, but... Let's say the plants. Let's say the roots that never get to reproduce. Huh? What do they say about this arrangement? And you put them in this kind of culture and then eventually the roots get big cityized, monoculturalized, and um, <clears throat> become so much more susceptible to. Uh, Pandemic. Okay. Oh, dogs are waiting so patiently. Well, I'm at it. Oh, there's Kudos again. Let's put him on this. And the horses. I've got the dogs on my arms, so... Let's, let's play. It's their fault. They're the ones that were like assholes. Wouldn't be hitched up to the post there had they not... Played the competing dog. Hey, kudos. Hey, oh, fuck it. Fuck them other dogs. Hey, buddy. They're bad dogs, so I could just go cool off. Just thinks it's all a game. Hey, kudos. <laughs> They're over there hitched up. Do you want to go see them? Teach them how civilized dogs act. Uh, by the way, I saw you chasing horses this morning. Yes. And um, if you don't tell your humans, I will. Because, you know. You're gonna get a horse tripping in a in a hole or something, because they're concentrating on running from you or playing games with you instead of being horses. And um, we just can't have that, because then you'll do the same thing with cows. Got it, Mister? Don't chase the horses like I told you this morning. Yes, you heard me. Kudos. No chasing horses, right? Yes. Now you go tell your humans what you did. Or I'll be over there to tell them. You'd think I'd have my neighbor's phone number. I guess I've given it to a couple of my neighbors. <sighs> Mr. Rag on everyone's lack of communication. Failure to communicate. Let's check on the horses. Unfortunately, there was still some fresh pasture for them to gnaw on. <laughs> oh, they're in the sun, so they're not going to hear me. Not in this dense atmosphere. Humidity is at about 95% and we're full of uh, CO2, uh, lots of sulfur dioxide from Fukushima. Why is uh, whoever's the liberal uh, government, I hope he's uh, taxing his um, uh, back billing or the, the Japan for one. Because uh, they now have to pay carbon tax for their volcano, which was lots of sulfur dioxide. I guess that's not taxed yet. Uh, and you also have to carbon tax uh, Greenland for all that carbon they sent over to BC. Look, look we'll, we'll back away from the horses. Don't want to upset them.
Okay, now I know it's not Kim Campbell running BC anymore. <laughs> After having made it so big in the uh, can opener lapel bin, pin business all them years ago. Oh, we know Bill's Landers Land is still <clears throat> chuckling over that there. Uh, let me show you how I'm going to make a joke out of, uh, out of your recall le legislation, peasants. Um, so I know it's not him running BC these days, but I know there's some new nitwit. Uh, and I'm going to speak right now to you about carbon tax. <sighs> oh, where are the dogs? Hey guys, where did you go? Oh boy, this is getting good. <clears throat> okay, so. Bear! Okay, good. I didn't see you guys hiding there. Haven't moved an inch. So, uh. Wondering what the fuck to. Stay, uh, just wait, I'm coming. Yeah, kudos and the horses posed for me too, guys. And I did capture the sun. And because we're just about over here, I'm going to remind you guys again. Uh, well, Manitoba time, I'm going to say, uh, I think it's early morning. <sighs> to about, maybe about two afternoon. Be on the lookout, uh, Arctic Circle, be on the lookout, Get, have your cams, your recording devices, you know, even your cell phone, I don't care. Do what you want. What have you got? Hey, kudos! Charcoal, uh, lipstick, draw a sketch. <laughs> so anyhow, yes, we, we have at 21.16 UTC time. July the first, uh, June the first. Pardon me. I don't know what this damn thing focus or is that my eyes without my glasses on? We've got an Arctic solar eclipse. Go to spaceweather.com. Uh, and he'll he's got a link there to NASA. He's probably already got his own. Um, refined edge of instructions and uh, that'll give you the details of when and where to look and maybe some photography tips and you know you can submit them there so you know Tony he'll, he'll get them around he understands data and it only increases with value with dissemination where it can be put to good use and shared and Stored in all kinds of ways, hopefully AMP proof ways, in case we have a Carrington event, Carrington Floor event. Oh, here comes Kudos. Are you gonna trust these guys, Kudos? They're acting pretty stupid. They're right out here with me, eh, buddy? <laughs> I actually did get a nose out of the Kud just once. You know, he, he hears me doing the tourist syndrome, um, <clears throat> expressionalism when, when our communications <laughs> break down. <clears throat> and he's pretty leery. He's heard me crack down on Cindy pretty hard. Verbal, emotionally. Certainly not because I'd like to, but... This, this, you gotta know Cindy, she's a red-headed, green-haired, green-eyed, red-head. So, everybody's cool. We've got some extra content on here. And some live coverage. Yeah, so, 